All right, guys, Go Boy 32 here, check it out. So I'm sitting in here in the uh, the Freedom, uh, whatever you call this thing, I'm sitting with my one of my favorite little little fun guns right here. This thing is absolutely incredible, well, even with the white zip ties on there. But uh, in any case, um, I am I'm basking in my assault weapon-ness, or whatever you call it. I call them defense rifles because that's what they are for me. I have no intention of going out and assaulting or doing a front, full frontal assault in the daytime or anything else like that, like uh, the Marsoc guys did up there on the Hudson. But anyway, uh, Mitch McConnell, assault weapons ban, front and center in Senate. According to Breitbart, they're saying that's what he said, that in, in reading this headline, you would think, assault weapons ban, front and center in the Senate. Oh my God, they're going to ban our, our assault weapons. These guys right here, they're going to ban them. Let's read further. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell indicated, indicated, he didn't state, assault weapons ban, assault weapons ban, and other gun controls would be front and center. He indicated, there has to be quote, unquote, and then indicated front and center, unquote, unquote, indicated. Okay, so these, these are, these are headlines. These are meant to grab your attention. This is why they're doing this, guys. They're creating a shitstorm. Let me read you the actual quote. It's close to being uh, indicating he wanted to do an assault or he's putting it out there, but I don't think that's what he's saying. Uh, and I'm not a fucking thud. Uh, NPR reports that McConnell addressed an assault weapons ban saying, we had that ban for about a 10 year period. There's a good deal of dispute about whether it actually had an impact or not. It's certainly one of the front and center issues. It's one of the front and center issues. Does that mean that he's going to say, yep, that's an assault weapons ban. We're going to do it. I think probably background checks and red flags will probably lead to discussion, which makes me feel like he's going to isolate it to that. Hell, they're already calling him, what, Slaughter McConnell? McConnell also stressed background check can be taken up by the Senate. Read up for this whole thing. Read the whole, whole story instead of jumping on the headlines. Because if you read the headlines, they'd have you believe that we're going for an assault weapons ban. We know for a fact that certain assholes are. But they got to make it through the Senate. And if that dumbass president of ours fucking signs something stupid like that shit, there will be a shit storm in this country like no one's ever seen. In any case, that's just my two cents. I just want to let everybody know, I saw a couple of these things come up. Don't jump on the first headline you see. Think with good reason, think with good logic, and read the actual quotes and not the headlines. That's the key to success in life. And don't jump at the first thing you see or hear without vetting the story. It's Code Boy 32. Uh, what do I got coming up? Oh, got a Colt Cobra. Picked it up the other day. I've got a couple of firearms that I haven't done reviews on that I've actually picked up. One is the AKV. I just can't have time to do the damn thing. I've gotten involved doing some testing, and it's kind of taking up my, my priorities. Uh, I carried a Beretta M9 for about 10 years, so uh, I'm really excited about that. It, it's just like one of those things I feel. It's wicked sensation. I know you hate those damn things, but it's one of those things. I just feel it, and it feels like home. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we've got some night vision, we've got some lasers, infrared stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, I told you guys I'm building a three-part series of the, all the new stuff. Uh, we've got a high-end, what I call a uh, defensive combat rifle, and a low-end or budget defensive combat rifle series coming after the 6.5 Creedmoor stuff as comparisons are done. We're going to be doing that next week and then following up with those bills in the following week. Anyway... Uh, installed a new trigger. CMC has got their new trigger for the uh, Glock uh, 17, 19, whatever you call it. So we did that. Also went over and uh, talked a lot about the safety features that are built in. And when you do an aftermarket trigger, you need to make sure that those things are involved uh, and tested. And you don't care that gun until it's tested. But anyway, guys, that's it. It's good about 32. Read the lines. Read the story. Read the actual quotes. Go to Boy 32. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. 
I'm gonna go get something to eat. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.